the use is 130 million tons. 63% out of that is sold in developing countries. Um, roughly calculated, the street that from 6 billion persons contain 27 million tons of nitrogen, 3 million tons of phosphorus, which is about one third uh, of the world's nitrogen use and, and one fifth of the phosphorus use, use which in theory could be replaced by using excreta if it is collected, reclaimed, processed, and managed correctly. This table so shows um, <coughs> the nutrient value, how much uh, a person produces nutrients every year. There is quite a big variation. You can see that, for example, urine, we produce from 300 to 500 liters every year. PC, 30 to 50 liters annually. And uh, you can see that the variation in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium uh, contents is, is quite big. And it mostly depends on the, on the diet. We excrete what we eat. Uh, usually, the more meat you eat, the uh, more nitrogen there is in the in the, area, the quality of food. And as you can see from this table, the majority uh, of the of the nutrients is in urine. Feces uh, are smaller by volume. Uh, also, the nutrient contents uh, is lower. Uh, but still, I would say it is worth using after correct management. Also, some <coughs> some other differences um, in, in in urine and uh, and the feces. So basically, urine. I will come back to this later. But urine, if a person is healthy, then urine is also free from pathogens. So when it is correctly managed, it can be directly used while feces require more careful attention in order to be used, reused safely. Um, human body is a very ingenious system. Think that during the evolution, our physiology has been developed so that um, <coughs> the, the solid material is concentrated the volume is, is much smaller, thinking of all the amount that we eat uh, compared to the amount that we excrete uh, through feces. <coughs> so our intestinal system concentrates and reduces the volume remarkably. Makes it very compact. Another thing is that we have kidneys. The human kidneys, they, they reuse. Of liters of, of, of um, um, solution constantly, the concentrated into a couple of liters of urine every every day. And what do we do after we excrete? We mix these two together, and then we also mix it with water, and then it is transported with water. And if we if we are in a good situation, we have a wastewater treatment plant. But we try to separate these two again using a lot of energy. I'm exaggerating, of course, but isn't this the system that we, we are now working with? Um, <coughs> so it is it is a natural thing if we keep these two things separated as they already are made in our body. Another point is that if we think of a growing child, sometimes I, I have a daughter at the age of 12, and she's almost as tall as I am very soon. So she's growing very fast. So they need nutrients. They need especially energy, but they also need all the nutrients to grow the skeleton and the muscles. So a child between seven, 2 to 17 years retains about 2% of all the nitrogen they eat, about 6% of the phosphorus, and 0.6% uh, of the potassium, which, if we turn this all the other way around, they excrete 98% of the nitrogen, 94% of phosphorus, and 
because we don't need that. We, we need energy, we need the vitamins uh, to stay healthy, but not that much nutrients to grow our skeleton or the muscles. So again, a, a fantastic source of nutrients to be used. So this means that basically we can calculate quite exactly uh, how much nutrients a population or a, or a town or a person excretes. Uh, another point is that if the excreta, which does not uh, actually equal to all, everything we eat or everything which is produced uh, to the amount of nutrients in there, because we have to take into account also the bio waste and the animal manure. If, if uh, livestock is, is known for producing meat, also the amount of nutrients 